Yes, you all come to my channel. This is your boy Jacob. Now today we are going to look at how you can open up a classic medical center here in our country. Now when it comes to medical center many people use it interchangeably other people can open up clinics and they say it's a medical center other people open up hospitals and they say it's a medical center so basically when it comes to a medical center it's a place where you are supposed to get all medical services it's a center of excellence for all medical services you need to get that so if you have majority of the medical services which patients need in a health unit you can easily name your unit as a medical center simply so in this video we're going to talk about how you can start a medical center what is required to start a medical center the total cost needed to start up a medical center here in uganda and basically the the outlook of how your medical center will look like <laughs> so so if you are new to this channel just consider subscribing to my channel by clicking on that red button right there in the corner click a thumbs up if you enjoy my tutorial and don't hesitate to make your comment right there in the comment section if there's anything you want to comment and want to add on my tutorial just make it right there in the comment section Yeah, so basically when it comes to a medical center, you need to get quite a very good location. Location is very important when starting up a medical center. Any kind of medical business, a good location is quite very important. Places like uh, crossroads, marketplaces, uh, uh, places basically where there are a number of people. Uh, such a center would work very well in such a busy place because many people will be coming in to get services in your clinic. So if you want a full tutorial on the best available locations for your facility, uh, just click my card up here. There's a card I put, I put up here on the best locations for your facility where you can get a number of clients. I put a card up here for you. You can just uh, log in and see the best locations basically for your facility. It's another important thing uh, once you get a very good location for your facility is to get licenses. Yeah, so most of these medical businesses, they want to first inspect your place. Yeah, you need to call on those district uh, uh, inspectors. Come and inspect your place whether it suits to become a medical center so you call them in and they inspect your place it can be either a building or you've demarcated a certain place where you want to put your medical center so you call them in there's always a small fee for inspection when they come to inspect your place which you are supposed to pay them then they sign an inspection form for you Yes, that inspection form is supposed to be signed by an inspector and a member of the DHO team and the DHO, he, him or herself, they sign on that inspection form and that inspection form is the one which is supposed to take at your body. Uh, when you are a, a, a clinical officer, you take it to allied health. When you are a medical doctor, you take it to your uh, medical uh, dental practitioner, that place where you get your licenses, that's where you take that inspection form and you order for your license. Now, what li uh, what do you need to order for this license? For a CEO, you need at least four years of experience for you to be given a mandate to go ahead to start a health facility in this country. Yes, four years of experience. For medical officers, it's basically three years of experience which you need to, to set up such a big unit. For nurses, uh, they can open their nursing homes. It, uh, for nurses, it's 10 years to open a nursing home. But basically, for this medical center, uh, for most doctors, uh, for a unit of around which inpatient, if you are going to cut out inpatient, uh, if it's less than 10 beds, they need you to, to do it for, they give you a license for around uh, 500,000 shillings. Yes, a license, that's the cost of a license for around 500,000 shillings if you are doing it in here in Kampala. If it's the outskirts of Kampala, in the villages, it takes 300,000 shillings. So basically for clinical officers, the license can cost you 300,000 shillings.
patients. Yes, basically here in town, 300,000 shillings, both in patient and out patients. That's the cost you need to pay uh, for them to give you that license to operate a health unit as a medical center. Now I'm going to show you the total cost of operating a medical center. This one is going to be slightly up because I'm going to show the exact figure. If you want each and every services like dental, maternity, a lab a small theater you put up a small scar so uh basically i'm going to show you the total cost of our medical center uh, i calculated basically the most uh, important services which you don't have to miss and services which most people actually look out for when they are coming to a facility these include maternity uh, theater lab uh, scan those are the major services and dental probably those are the major services people look for so the total cost for a maternity if you are calculating to open up a medical center you start i'm going to pick out the major costs those ones which take a lot of money so you start with the delivery set will go for a million shillings as you see it here then a delivery bed will go for 1.3 million shillings exam bed 300 uh, thousand then other things which include soundries uh, uh, sets uh, probably you can also get a small sterilizer all those ones i've calculated them to take around 1.4 million others so the total cost will take you around 4 million shillings then it, when it comes to theater, one thing which takes a lot of money is you need to get at least an anesthetic machine. Gone are the days where you just open a theater without an anesthetic machine because anything can happen to your patient during theater and you need to intubate uh, or do something, give general anesthesia. So you need an anesthetic machine in your theater. So uh, the one which is very good is the universal anesthetic machine. It currently goes around 20 million shillings. All these are uh, uh, prizes are uh, I got them from Genet medical stores. You can look out for them over there. They will show you their prizes for most of their medical equipments and sundries. So a universal anesthetic machine. The advantage with it is uh, you can you can it uses it creates its own oxygen. It uses an oxygen concentrator. Unlike most anesthetic machine which use uh, cylinders. This one uses an oxygen concentrator, so it would be very good for someone who is starting up a medical center. Then a theater table, one million. Uh, this one is, would be a locally made one. If you want a fancy theater table, it goes up to 10 million, but I've allocated one million uh, for a theater table, which any person can do, which is not very expensive. Then a suction machine will go for 1.3 million. That is a joint medical store. Was oxygen concentrator is around 2.8 to 3 million, so roughly 3 million. Then a cardiac monitor, good one, will go for a million shilling. Then sets, uh, we shall pick out sets which are most commonly used in theaters. Uh, for example, uh, a C section set at a joint medical store, as that one can go for around 1.6 million. Uh, then the minor set 1.2 million, D and C set 1.4 million. Yes, uh, those are the major ones where you expect most cases to come from. Other things like STS, you can just pick out instruments. Uh, you, you can pick out instruments or just buy extra instruments. So other things like sutures, gowns, extras, I've calculated them to be 2.5 million. So a total of your theater in a medical center can take you around 32 million. A good one. A good one but you can take out other things if you don't want them but a good a theater will take you 32 million then the laboratory uh, the most important thing there is a scope which can go for around 1.5 million kits and reagents 2 million yeah this is a simple lab where you're not going to do things like hematology uh, all those other things for so those other extra services serology what you can send the patient out to those big labs like last lab if they, they really want a uh, very good test you can send them out they take the tests in a bigger lab and then they bring the results and they get treatment but a simple lab you just get a scope put kits and reagents so it take you around 3.5 million 
Then dental services, uh, you will need a dental chair. Uh, the least, the cheapest dental chair, I will get it at a million shillings. Very good ones can go 10 million above. So I've taken up a simple one at 1 million shillings. Then a dental instrument set comes to around between 700 to a million shillings. But a million would do. Then other things, sundries and all those other things which can be used in a dental clinic will take around 2 million shillings. So uh, dental services you will calculate for a total of around 4 million shillings. Then you will need a scan. Scans are very important, especially in obstetrics, uh, where you want to look out for, uh, for all those mothers who have got complications, uh, ectopics, they want to see their pregnancies, the progress of their pregnancies, uh, you will need an ultrasound scan. A very cheap portable ultrasound scan can go for around 10 million shillings. Yeah, they, they are very expensive unless you get a very old one, but a, a portable ultrasound scan, 10 million. A very good uh, all-round ultrasound scan can go for eight min, 18 million, but let's take one for 10 million. Then other things involved in the room which you need in the scan room will take around 500,000. So basically, in your scan room, you it will take you around 10.5 million. Then in your medical center, you also need uh, a pharmacy inside there, which I've calculated for 3 million. Basically, for basic drugs, you put there 3 million for your pharmacy. Then you need inpatient room where you are going to admit your patients. Basically, beginning, it's take you around four beds, a drip stand, soundries, other things like monitors and all those other things which can be needed in an inpatient room. So I've calculated them at two million. Then outpatient layout, furniture, reception design, that's all around two million. Then licenses, inspection, sign points, I've calculated them to take around 1.5 million. So basically, your medical center will take a whooping of around 6.2 million a shilling 62 62.5 million shillings here uh, locally in uganda that's the amount if you want a classic very good one it will take you that amount of money but it this is uh an estimated cost it can take uh less if you get most of the things uh if you get old things and you you can take out some services it can go less than this or above for example, if you start those things like X-ray and all other, other services which I have not put here, it will go way above that. So this is just an estimate of the amount of money uh, which it will take you to, to open this type of facility. I think we are going to look at our medical center staffing. Uh, staffs whom you may hire or whom you want them to be part of the team of your medical center. You need a medical officer, you need two clinical officers, you need two nurses, you need two midwives, one laboratory assistant or technician. These are staffs you can hire, but accordingly, if you see that your income is not enough, you can cut off and get one clinical officer, one nurse, one midwife, and one laboratory assistant. Still, it can work for you, but if the unit is going to work 24 hours, you need two two in each field. Then other part timers, people who may you may not hire, but you may get them just on case to case basis and pay to them by percentage. People like radiographers, people who are going to manage your scan and do all the interpretations of your scan. Uh, you uh, you may need to get this one as a part time worker. A dental officer who is going to extract the truth and manage the dental unit. This one is also a part timer. You might not hire this one. You these ones are paid on case per case basis. You pay according to the percentage and number of clients the officer has worked on. Then you also need visiting consultants like surgeons, gynecologists. Basically, also these ones are paid on case per case cases if they are bringing. Their cases, their patients to your theaters, uh, they they need to pay your unit and you also get some money from their cases. So this is a place where you are supposed to work together with other consultants to help your unit also to grow and get to be known better. So basically, this are uh, a number of people you need to work with uh, as part of your staffs and others as part-timers. So, this is a simple sketch map of our medical center. So, 
Uh, these are our major services open, offered in the medical center. Uh, we start up with our reception, which comes around here. Uh, then from reception, this is the doctor's room. They come to the waiting area here. They wait for the doctor. They come here. They are clocked here. Then from here, you order your lab sample. They come here. Then uh, if they are antenatal and maternity, we put it here. Antenatal here, then maternity here. Then our operating theater comes here. In case of any, any patients, those who are to be admitted, they are here. I created four beds for just a, a small medical center here. Then dental services here, a scan room here. There can be a coach here, then the scan somewhere here. Then our mini pharmacy right here. So basically, this is our sketch map of our medical center then here patients come out from here this is basically a small sketch map of our medical center this is how you can lay out your medical center simply just a simple structure for your medical center another important thing i forgot to talk about is you need to get licenses for these two things you need to get licenses to open up a lab in your unit and license to open a pharmacy in uni your unit sometimes this but basically these two you need to get separate licenses for them. On top of your health unit license, you need to get license for lab and pharmacy. That's very important in your unit. So that is it, guys. That is the total cost the amount of money you need to open up a medical center here in Uganda. Yes, six, 62.5 million is a lot of money. Yes, I know. But if you want something classic, something good, which most patients will come and see and they appreciate and get most of the services, this is the money amount of money you need. It can go slightly low if you take out more things like dental, theater. It can go slightly low. But uh, if you put those services there, that's the amount of money and also if you want extra services like x-ray you put all those radio uh, graphic things in your medical center the amount will go slightly above so basically that's the total cost you need if you want a cheap clinic which can go to around six million shillings i put a card up here I made a full tutorial on how to start up a clinic here in uganda at six million shillings so that is my short video on how to open up a medical center if there's anything i've left out and you want to comment it here on my tutorial don't hesitate to make it there in the comment section